And Zingandraba, I was Gabin's mom, Pagotti. Bunga to Rajid de Omia, Tonset to Ragulibona, and to Ragus, a film Magot. Alim wants to Ragus, Bona Pencambo, Wanonga Muntu, Wuches Cavia, Galo with a Galo Go. Ladies and gentlemen, now we are at the farmer field school. We are going to demonstrate the uh, use of chili uh, during the HWC. For the chili brick, our ingredients or the recipe now, we need water. We have the cow dung, which is in powder form. We need the chili. We also need the container for mixing the chili and the cow dung. Then we also need this for pounding and mixing. Why are we using the cow dung? It is just because it is readily available to everyone. And also it burns slowly. Unlike using the, the elephant dung, which bends very fast and the, the, the brick can not last for a long time. We can have our cow dung here, and then we break it into smaller, into fine or fine mixture. Right. 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 After we have ground it, we make sure it's fine. And then we mix. Right. <coughs> right. Right. I think it's okay. <coughs> Might have uh, a bucket. Small bucket. Then we empty after mixing. Right. And then we mix this to a sort of a thick, a thick paste, which we are going to dry. And after drying. We only put just one uh, ash uh, from fire. Then from there, it will burn slowly, slowly emitting the, the, the smoke, which will chase away the elephant. So now I have some water. Right. This is our mixture for making the chili brick. Now we can have a cut container which we are going to use is our chili brick molder. We make sure the our brick is strong so that it can last. <coughs> you have to perforate this uh, container so that it allows water to drain and the brick to to get dry as fast as see. So when you are done, don't forget to put a grove here where you are going to make your fire. Then from here, when you are done, we dry this. 
So when it is dry, it will look like this. When it is from the container and it's dry, now this one is ready for use. We can use this one to repel the, the elephants. So for the chili brick, this is the recipe. If you put more chili, which means your chili brick will be very strong. But if you put less chili, then it will be weak. And the elephants will tend to, to just pass through your chili brick because it will be very weak. But make sure you make a very strong chili brick, which can repel the elephants while they are even 100 meters away from your field or 200 meters away from your field. And this one can last for a, even a year, as long as it is kept where it is confined and cannot emit any or exposed to weather. But if you leave it just uh, on an open air, it will expire very quickly. What we want is to maybe avoid elephants coming to our fields. We can make a, a line of the chili bricks at an interval of uh, about 100 meters from one chili brick to another, so that we make them a line. They will act as a chili fence, in fact. And also, you know, we use them during the rainy season. We have to protect them so that they don't get in contact with the water. Now we want to burn our chili brick and we have to make sure that the chili brick is a, a bit higher so that you not to be affected by the rains. This chili brick should burn so slow that like a mosquito coil, those who have used the mosquito coil, so that it takes more hours burning to repel the elephants. Now we put the fire on top of the chili brick. So this should do burn slowly. And before you leave, you have to make sure that the, the chili brick is caught with fire. It may happen that you find that your chili brick will burn very fast because of the wind. So this is how we burn the chili, the chili brick. The <laughs> Mundomia.